Before we get going on this video, I want you guys to know that there's a good chance that this could turn out to be just a waste of your time. So I want you guys to know that going in, so you're not disappointed if nothing happens. So in saying that, here we go. Now, this card is my GTX 1080. This card is my 580. You guys have seen both these cards. I've used both these cards and both these cards are broken and they're both broken because, well, I broke them. Now this one, now that's, I mean, this is a lost cause of 580. What are you gonna do, fix it and then, then what? But this one is a 1080. It's still halfway decent and I really wish it did work. Um, I was gonna try to arm it. EVGA did say they would, you know, they would try to fix it. Problem is, is that, you know, in that one video, I painted the fans. And yeah, you gotta have it back at stock configuration to get an RMA and well, the paint wouldn't come off and I cannot find factory original fans. I can find plenty of fans that'll fit, but none that are exactly what I need. So, many of you guys have said, you know, sometimes you can bake GPUs and make them work. And I was like, oh, sounds far-fetched, but hey, what do I got to lose at this point? So you guys said it and the internet says it, so that's what we're gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to bake both these cards and hopefully one of them comes back to life. So right now I'm just running on integrated graphics. I guess we could probably pop these in just to make sure they don't work still. It'd be kind of a short video if I just put them in there and they work, but let's put each one of these in this computer and see if they actually are still broken, which I assume they are. So the first card we are gonna test is, now let's start with the 580. It's the one I'm least concerned about. It's closest to the computer. Move the connector down to this here card. Here we go. Think it'll work? I don't think so. Well, it also probably have, it'll help if I plug some power into it. Now, last time I had this in this system, turn it on and the fans just go max power and that's about it. interesting they're not ramping up but if these work I, that's it'll be something else nada okay next yeah no lights or nothing on this guy i don't know if that's even plugged in really So as we see, as expected, they are broken. So I guess if anything, now I do, I do like I said, there's, I have about a 800%, I'll say 99.9% .9 chance this is not gonna work, but I guess if you have a broken GPU, at least you'll know how to do it. So I've never done this before, so we're gonna be using Caddy Styles, this little article here about baking for temperature, time limit, uh, how to set it up. So essentially we're going to take each one of these cards, remove the coolers, remove the fans, back plates if they have it, uh, clean everything up with uh, alcohol, and then we're going to bake it on a cookie sheet. Uh, raised up obviously with some tempo balls at 375 for 10 minutes. And if we are lucky, that's going to maybe reflow some solder joints, reset some magic in the card. Put, put all the magic blue smoke back in the card, essentially, and it should work. But if you have a broken card, I mean, what do you, what do you get to lose? So that is what we're gonna do. First step, take the coolers off both of these.
are back. So two GPUs right out of the uh, old oven there, 375, 10 minutes, then let cool down for 30 minutes, new thermal compound, put her back together. And what do we got? Do we have something that's fixed or are we still broke? Well, we're about to find out. There goes the uh, fan max power. God dang, that's loud. And not looking good. Sounds broken to me. Well, it's not, it's not running 100% no more. Don't know what that means. I think it's still broken though. Hence the no picture. He's a coyote. Well, uh, there's a coyote out back. But other than that, no good. So we'll try the other one, which I also feel like it's probably not gonna be any good. Supposedly this has worked for people. I don't think I'm gonna be one of those people. Still no lights. What is it, not even gonna boot now? Oh, what? Am I plugged into the wrong thing? Oh, I'm not! Get the... Uh... Okay. That is, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was like, everybody kept saying to try this and I was like, I'm just gonna, I'll do it just in case if somebody's looking for a video on how to do it. There's no way this is gonna work. Uh, I'm wrong. I still don't have any fans in it, but wow. The funny part is the RGB on the card doesn't work still, but the card does. My mind is just blown. Blown. Actually, let's just, let's just, let's just open up task manager just for a minute here, just to make sure. See, I don't see. What's going on here? I feel like I don't see the GPU. I'm, I'm plugged into it. The video's coming from it. There's, there's no way around that, but I, I don't see it. What kind of black magic is this? Oh, it's right there. Wow. That is incredible. So the, the, the lights, still no lights. The lights are probably done for, for they're, they're just done. But the card is now back to life. Now I just need to get some fans, put her back together, and well, I just saved myself about 300 bucks. I don't even know what a used GTA 1080 goes for 300, 350. But either way, so there you go. If you, if you want to give it a shot, it does work. So what I did was oven 375, uh, clean, you know, obviously take your old cooler off, all the thermal paste off, clean everything up, try to get some of the dust off. Uh, oven 375, 10 minutes, just kind of put the cards PCB on some tin foil to get it, tin foil balls to get it off the, the cookie sheet. Wait for 10 minutes, take it out of the oven, let it sit for 30, 
put it back in there and cross your fingers. As you can see, didn't fix the 580, but it did fix my 1080, which if I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care about that one anymore. Oh no, is it broke again? <laughs> okay, we're back in. So there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the idea. I mean, I, I quite literally have never really heard about doing this before in the past. I'm glad you guys recommended it. I'm glad I tried it and wow. Just wow. See you next time.